Hi everyone, it's Monica and welcome back to Taylor Made Cards for You. Well today I'm here to share with you a new die cut coming out from Spellbinders and it's from the Showered with Love set that is being released today. And I was really excited to play with this little duck just because it has all sorts of fun little accessories. It has an umbrella, it has a hat, it has little boots, and it also has a little jacket you can play with as well. So as you can see here, there are several pieces to go along with this little duck and you can decorate it up as much or as little as you want to. Now you know I'm not a cutesy card maker, but I do love vintage and sometimes vintage does end up being cutesy. So as I was playing with some of my retro Valentine's Day cards, I found this little duck and I thought I would go ahead and try to recreate it um, to create a retro vintage inspired Valentine. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I had some pieces of scrap paper um, in my Valentine stash that I thought would work perfectly. Unfortunately, I didn't have another one that had that big heart, but I did find this little ATC kind of uh, card that I thought would work well uh, for my background. Now what I loved about this little duck is even though it had small pieces, it wasn't real difficult to put together. A lot of times when I'm using several layered pieces on my dies, they can get pretty intricate, but these little ducks were pretty easy to put together, especially for my vintage Valentine, um, because all I did uh, was use the duck, his wing, his beak, of course, and then for the embellishments, I used the little bow and the matching boots. So it's pretty easy to put together. Now, one of the things that I love about small little pieces is it enables me to use up some of my scraps. So I found just some scrap pieces of paper within my stash to be able to create some of the embellishments on these cards. Now, because these pieces are so little, one of the things that I would recommend when you are creating, uh, having to layer several pieces of dies is cut out several of the pieces so that way you have a nice little bunch to create several of your decks. So when you're cutting them and you have your orange paper out, cut several of the orange pieces, which would be your beak and your duck feet, you know, cut several of your yellow ducks, cut several of your bows if you're gonna be using the bow design, and then of course your little boots. So that way you have several pieces, um, either using the same cardstock or different designer cardstock, so that way when you sit down to assemble your little duck, you can assemble several cards together. So as you can see, the first thing I put on was the little wing and the beak. And then I'm going to go ahead and start working on the duck feet. Now for the duck feet, I find that it's easy just to go ahead and add a little bit of glue to the flat part of the duck foot and then just put it underneath the boot. Remember, you're going to be uh, gluing this to the duck. So you just want to make sure that your foot doesn't show through the boot. Uh, so that way it does look like he has his complete duck foot in his boot. And you're going to do that with both of his feet. And then once you have both of your boots glued together, just turn them upside down to give them a minute to dry. And then once they are completely dry, then you can go ahead and adhere them to your little duck. Um, and then again, just uh, when you go to adhere the duck, you're gonna use the part of that orange that is showing. Um, and what I like to do is just add a little bit of glue to the, black, to the back side of my duck and then place the feet kind of like they're walking and then once you see that they are attached to your duck go ahead and turn your duck upside down giving it a minute to dry these pieces are little and they will come loose really easily so you want to make sure that when you are adding um, the tiny pieces you do give them a moment to dry And then once I have my little duck attached, um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put it aside to dry, and then I'm gonna start working on some of the smaller embellishment pieces. Now, like I explained, the kit comes with several little pieces to dress up your duck. You can dress them up uh, with a little hat, there's a little jacket you could use, and of course, there's an umbrella that you could also add as an accessory. But for this little duck, the only accessory I'm gonna use are the boots and this little bow that's gonna go on the top of her head. Now, if you wanted to turn this into a bow tie, you could certainly do that as well to make your, de your duck a male instead of a female. But for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use it as a little bow to go on the top of her head. 
And what I'm doing is I cut out both pieces of the bow. Um, there's two pieces. If you're gonna use the bow tie, you would just use the skinny one. But because I wanted to create it kind of like a 3D bow, I went ahead and glued the smaller piece onto the top piece. I'm only adding glue in the middle, so that way I can kind of curl up part of my bow to make it look 3D. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put it aside to dry. Now one of the little pieces that you're also gonna get in the kit is this little round piece to be able to accentuate the eye. As you can see, the little duck has a little hole for the eye, um, but you're gonna wanna go ahead and accentuate it. And um, I didn't wanna just have a hole in the middle, so what I did is I took a little piece of white cardstock and I just glued it on the back side of the duck, so that way there was some white showing rather than it just being a hole. And then what I did is I took the little round piece that um, goes around the eye um, and I glued that onto the duck. Now, as you can see, I am using some of my tweezers here to hold some of these small pieces. Um, and it makes it a lot easier when you're working with really small die items. But if you don't have this tool, um, it wasn't too difficult to just work with your fingers. But of course, if you do have these tools, um, it makes it a lot easier to be able to place some of these small dies. All right, so now my duck is pretty much uh, dressed other than his her little bow, I should say. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more distress just to give it a little shadowing, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start to work on my sentiment next. Now to create my sentiment, I did it a couple of ways. Um, to create the word duck, I did use one of my uh, Sissix thinlets, um, and it is uh, an alphanumeric label set from Tim Holtz, and it has some really small letters that I was able to use for my word duck. But for the other part of the sentiment, I did use my vintage Royale typewriter. Now I know not everybody has a vintage typewriter, so I'm gonna give you a little uh, hint on how you can go about this at the end of the video. So after I had put uh, the word duck and kind of figured out exactly where it was gonna be, I went ahead and put my little cardstock into my typewriter and I typed out, you can't, and then I left the space for my duck and then I put out of being my Valentine. So the sentiment's gonna read, you can't duck out of being my Valentine. And again, I got my inspiration from an authentic vintage Valentine that I had in my stash uh, for the little sentiment. All right, so now that I had my sentiment typed out, it was time to go ahead and put the word duck in the middle. So again, I had already pre-sized it so I knew exactly where my word was gonna go. Now it was just a matter of working with these really small letters to get my word duck in place. Now when I say these letters are small, I'm not kidding you. Uh, so I was really careful when I was working with these to make sure after I was done cutting out all of my letters that I put them away. Typically I'm a pretty messy scrap uh, card maker or, or scrapbooker um, because a lot of times when I'm cutting things I leave them out or I don't necessarily put them away. But when you're working with smaller items, one thing I would highly, highly recommend is once you're finished cutting them, put them back in their case because they are so easy to lose. I can't tell you how many times I've actually left little pieces out and when I go to use the set, I don't have the full set. So just take that extra time when you are working with small pieces to clean up as you go along. Put them back in the little container that they came in so that way you can enjoy them uh, the next time you want to use uh, the little die set. All right, so as you can see here, I am kind of uh, working these little letters with care. I'm adding a little bit of glue and then I'm making sure just kind of rub it all over because I don't want the glue to be popping out on the edges. That's one thing, again, you have to think about when you're working with small pieces, that if you have too much glue, when you stick it down on your paper, the glue is gonna seep from underneath your die. And we, none of us want that. So when you are working with smaller pieces um, and you add your glue to the back, I would just recommend using your finger to kind of spread it out because you're not gonna need a lot of adhesive on these small pieces, so you don't need the um, droplets of glue that you may ordinarily have with some of your other cardstock. stock. 
And this type of card is really good for an assembly line as well. You can easily put the backgrounds together in one sitting. Like I said, cut down, cut out all of your pieces. So in this situation, you would cut out several of your letters and you can just create the backgrounds. And then on another sitting, you can sit down and create the little duck. And then when you're ready to put them all together, you can just kind of, you know, use an assembly line to um, layer your pieces and put them all together. So the card isn't difficult. Um, it just has a lot of small pieces that you're gonna be working with. All right, so I have my sentiment in place. Everything's looking good. Now it's time to go ahead and add my little duckling. Now my duck, um, you could either do it a couple of ways. I did add, a, add some foam tape, foam tape to the back of it um, to pop it up a little bit. It's absolutely not necessary, but I do like the look of the popped up duck. So I did go ahead and add my foam tape, and now I can go ahead and finish it off by adding my little bow. So I actually decided to go ahead and layer my card together first before adding my bow. So I have a couple of pieces here, coordinating cardstock, where I'm gonna go ahead and layer my little Valentine onto that dark gray cardstock just to give it a nice little border. And then um, I have another piece of gray with white polka dots that, I'm go that I cut out using um, one of my uh, vintage type of dies just to make it look like it's torn edges. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere th this piece right onto that. And then I'll be ready to add it onto my white cardstock. All right, so now that I have my pieces laid um, out exactly where I want them, I can go ahead and add them to the base of my card. And um, I had some pre-cut white card stock out uh, that I'm gonna go ahead and use. Um, and that's one thing also, you know, since it is the beginning of the year, you might wanna think about pre-cutting some of your card stock so you have it ready to go. Uh, this is one thing that I don't do very often. I usually, um, get right into crafting and I have to kind of cut it as I go. But I am gonna try this year to be a little bit more organized with my cardstock and I will be pre-cutting a lot of my card bases and my layers ahead of time. So that way I can just kind of sort and grab. So I went ahead and added my glue to the back of my cardstock and I added it directly to my card and there you have it, just a really cute little retro vintage Valentine. Um, and all I need to do now is add my little bow. So I'm gonna get my glue again and uh, add a little bit of he adhesive uh, on the back of my bow. And for this piece, I'm gonna add it all on, on to the whole back part of that bow because um, I do want it to stick nicely. And I'm gonna put it right on her head. And then there's a little round dot that will go right in the middle. Now you can use different type of cardstock for the little dot in the middle. Um, but I decided to go ahead and just use the same cardstock. I don't think it had the white polka dot on it. I think it just had the gray piece, um, which was fine with me. Um, and I went ahead and just added that. And that for the most part finished the card. So as you can see, just using this little duck and some coordinating cardstock and a cute little sentiment, I was able to kind of reproduce this little vintage Valentine. Now, of course, I know it's not exactly the same, but that little retro duck is what gave me my inspiration to create this card. And overall, I'm pretty happy with it. So I will leave links to everything that I used to create this little card. I'll leave links to the um, little duck die for you. And then I will also leave links to the die set that I used to, to create the word duck. Um, I also have a little treat for you because I know not everybody is gonna have the exact background to create this little Valentine. And a lot of times I know that you love to kind of copy and reproduce um, these types of cards. So I did go ahead and create a, uh, a printable for you so you can go ahead and print this out and use it for your background. Now you're gonna have to buy the deck, unfortunately. I don't have the deck that I can give to you but I did wanna go ahead and create a little retro background that will at least get you started on creating these vintage Valentines. So if you've enjoyed the video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, everybody, thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you again next time.